If you want to become a better volleyball player, you need to keep your personal volleyball training clock. A training clock will help you to get more from your volleyball training sessions and workout. It will help you to organize and save information about your exercise routine so you can work towards a specific goal or improvement of your volleyball game. For example, when you are preparing for an important tournament in the three months, a training clock will help you keep track of not only how often you train, how many times a week you work on developing your strength, jump and speed, but also how fit you feel in each week. And you can learn from that in the future, see what's working for you, what you need to work on, where you may have made a mistake. For me personally, the training clock is not only a great tool to record my training sessions and track the progress of a player's development, but above all a great motivator. And I don't use it only in volleyball. I track myself daily to see if I met my goal and walked 10,000 steps on my Fitbit charge, if I slept 8 hours, and I then look at my daily activity. The Apple Watch offers even more attractive tracking of your daily physical activity. Anyway, even a simple training clock or journal can help you become a better volleyball player and in this video I show you a simple way to create a basic uh, training clock. But before actual tips how to create a volleyball training clock, here are 5 reasons why keep a training clock. A training clock uh, helps you determine how well your training is working. It does uh, so by enabling you to connect cause and effect. By looking back uh, over the information in your training clock, you can determine whether you need to train more or less. There is always a way to train more effectively than you do are doing today, so keeping a training clock makes it easier for to find ways to train better. Each volleyball player is unique, therefore no two players can get their best result by training in exactly the same way. One of your most important duties as volleyball player is to learn about your volleyball self, so you can use this self-knowledge to refine your training receipt. And your training clock provides a wealth of information through which to develop such self-knowledge. Training can be really hard, it takes long time and a lot of hard work to play good volleyball. It's difficult to consistently maintain a high level of motivation through this uh, process. But the price you pay for losing your motivation can be severe. Your training diary can help you avoid motivation dips by reinforcing your investment in your goals. It's a source of accountability to the standards you have set for yourself. When you look back over the, all the trainings you have done, you can't help but think, I can stop now, look at how much work I have done already. I owe it to myself to keep my momentum going until the very end. Things uh, sometimes go wrong in the training process. Uh, you develop injuries, you experience flat weeks, uh, you have bad games and so on. Figuring out the cause of each setback uh, will help you reduce the number of future setbacks um, you experience. And your training clock holds uh, much of the information you need to successfully troubleshoot your setbacks. Every volleyball player experiences doubts about his or her ability to achieve volleyball goals. The players who most often achieve their goals are those who master the confidence to shout down these natural voices of doubt. Your training clock can be a great source of confidence. It's a rich record of how much hard work you have accomplished and how much progress you have made. Whenever you hear voices of doubt within you, pick up your training clock and remind yourself of how much cause you have to believe that you will achieve your goals. Now let's get to actual training clock and what you can record. Here is a list of volleyball related activities you can record and track in your training clock. Frequency of your trainings. How many times a week you train. The length of training. If your trainings are 1 hour, 2 hours. The content of training. What was the main focus of your training? How did you feel after the training or workout? What activities did and did not go well? When you do physical training, stretching, when you play games or tournaments. And I could go on. With the training clock you can track a lot of other things uh, that may be individual to each person. What form of uh, training clock should you choose? On Google or Amazon you can find paper training clocks that are structured for specific sports. Fitness locks, workout locks, even volleyball training clock and so on. Yes, the paper lock has something to it, there is no denying that. It's similar thing to keeping a personal diary. But on the other hand, if you lose or damage it, you lose the history of your trainings and activities. Also for each season you will need a new paper training clock and looking back to see what you did say two years ago at Christmas won't be easy. That's why I would rather recommend 
and electronic form of training clock, uh, but I certainly don't mean creating some uh, mega Excel spreadsheet. Rather, I'm thinking of using the calendar app on your phone. Personally, I have a lot of experience with it and I find it easy to write down my trainings and workouts in the calendar, save the length of that workouts, write one or two words about what I did, how I felt. I also keep the dates of tournaments and matches uh, with me at all times thanks to my phone. I just think it's a good way to get uh, started. We always have our phone with us. Uh, it's easy to make a note in the calendar and it doesn't cost you anything either. At the end of the month, you can then analyze your training activities and uh, other things yourself. I recommend you create a separate calendar in your calendar app, which you can call, for example, my volleyball log, in which you can uh, then record your trainings and activities. Now let's see how you should uh, approach your volleyball training clock in three steps. Step one, set your goal. I am not a big believer in setting a lot of goals, so rather I believe in regular activity, practicing, playing, thinking about volleyball, an activity that uh, never really ends and is more of a path that will lead you to your better performances and goals. On the other hand, when you set up a training clock, it's good to set some achievable and progressive goals. They don't have to be big goals right away, like I want to increase my jump by 30 centimeters or I want to give an ace every second serve. Rather, they should be goals so that you know you can improve in that skill and then work on it. However, I will cover volleyball goals in more detail in the following videos. Even if you are practicing just to maintain your volleyball skills, you should have a goal maintain your volleyball skills. Writing your goals down will give you a little mental willpower so that uh, when your consistency starts to falter, you can look back and see what uh, you are striving for. You can make this goal more effective by giving it a timeline and some methods for maintaining it. However, even just the fact that you have to set uh, this goal will increase the likelihood that you will meet it. And if you want to reinforce this goal, write it down in a visible place uh, so you can keep it in the sight through the day. Maybe you can put it as a stick note to the wallpaper on your computer or as a sticker on the back of your phone. Anyway, by setting a goal and writing it down, you will focus your efforts and greatly increase the likelihood of success. Step 2. Record your steps. Start by writing down your trainings and activities. I mean every single activity you do. One time it will be the ball training, the next time it may be weight training, stretching, uh, time spent uh, with tactical preparation and so on. Do this every day. You can record the activity before your training and adjust it after or write it down after the activity. Step 3. Evaluate your progress. Uh, keep short specific notes about what worked. One of the best parts of training clock is the ability to easily write down what you want. Also, keep short notes on your performance in games so you can diagnose your successes and failures. This knowledge of yourself uh, will allow you to set further goals. When you record your training and workouts, you give yourself access to your own history. It's your data and it allows you to use that information to figure out how to improve your volleyball skills. So using a training clock is the easiest and the most flexible way to keep track of all your volleyball activities that you encounter during season or year. This is why I think uh, every volleyball player should keep a basic training clock and your training clock should be simple. The ability to find your old training or record new training cannot be overstated for its power. In less than 10 seconds uh, you can be recording your training or workout. Useful. In addition to its simplicity, a training diary gives you the ability to easily store and review your activities in seconds. Versatile. The training clock gives you the ability to write down your training with any text. Uh, it will record the notes that suit you. I hope these uh, thoughts about the training clock will motivate you to start keeping a personal volleyball training clock. And ultimately it will help you to become a better volleyball player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.